So wait, uh, last game in the league, what? It's the 19th of November now. You must be, be chopping at the bit to get back into action. Yeah, we're looking forward to the game. Uh, so we try to get the balance between giving the players a bit of a bit of downtime and working them hard. Uh, so we think we're in a good place. I think the players are in a good place for Friday night. You welcome it, uh, an extended period away from from action. Or you, while you're in good form as you have been, would you rather just keep going? No, we wanted a game at the weekend, um, but obviously we didn't have one, so we tried to utilise the time the best we can, but no, obviously we wanted the game. And it's, as you, you talked about there, it, it, it must be difficult to try and strike that balance between working them hard and actually taking the opportunity, although you wanted the game, to just take the brakes off a little bit, give them a rest. Yeah, we're just trying to find that balance. They've had a, since the start of the season, the games have been stacked up. So there's been a lot of Saturday, Tuesdays. Uh, they've worked. They've worked really hard. So when you do get the time, you you have to take the opportunity to freshen them up a little bit. Uh, you haven't got a game for ten days, so when you do have your sessions, you can really work them. So we think that we've found a good balance, um, and we're really eager to pick up from where we left off before from our last league game. Well, that's it. You're, you're league for the last few games has been really encouraging. A couple of draws, a couple of wins here. How, how do you keep that momentum up? Just the same same process, same work ethic every day. Um, and I think they, the players have worked really hard to get themselves in a, in a good place. So just keep reinforcing the message that we don't want to let go of it. Uh, step on and hammer down and build on what we've, on where we are at the moment. In terms of squad news, how are you looking? Sorry, say that again, mate. In terms of squad news, how are you looking? Uh, as we were, pretty much. Will Ferry and Grant are both progressing quite well, but they're obviously not available at the moment. Uh, Dan adzed has been a little bit under the weather, so he'll be touch and go. Other than that, everybody's uh, everybody's fit and available. As for Charlton, they're an established club at this level. Uh, ben Garner, of course, brought in from Swindon. How do you assess them? Yeah, they're an established club above this level. So, big, big club. When I was... So when I was a little bit younger, they were they were a fixture in the Premier League. Uh, good footballing team. Want to dominate the ball. Uh, home record's very good. I think they've only lost one at home all season. So we want to go there and we're anticipating a good game. We think it will be difficult, but we think we're in a good place ourselves. And we want to go there and put on a good representation of what we're about. Are on the table, he talks about their stature and they've played well above that level, of course, and it's Alan Kirby's days, of course. But looking at where they are on the table and the backing that they have, would you expect them to be doing better? I'm not really in a position, I don't know what backing they do or don't have, in all honesty, so I've, I've no idea. Are you talking financial or support? I'm tr but support, the size of the club, the mm. fact that they've had glory days in the past, would you expect them to be doing better? I think they've, um. I think they're one of a number of big clubs in this league. I think ultimately their time will come again, whether it's this season or if it's in the future. I think the manager's gone in there in the summer and he's had a massive turnover of players. So he's in the middle of rebuilding the whole thing. Um, and from the games I've seen, I think on their day, when it clicks, they're a, they're a more than capable side. I think they've beaten Plymouth, beaten Portsmouth, beaten Derby. So, um, I think the league is the league is that tight that Charlton has certainly got a, a team that's set up capable of going on a going on a run of games, and I think you'd probably be phrasing that question in a completely different way. So, uh, as far as uh, Friday night is concerned, I mean, you know, players don't need any more motivation. Friday night under the lights in, in London with a with a big crowd. So that's what you play League One football for. Yeah, it, I, I think they've. Uh, I think it's the anniversary of them going back to the valley, so they've made a bit of a, they've made a bit of a, a thing of the game. I think they've capped, they capped the tickets at, at nineteen pound ninety two because it was nineteen ninety two when they went back. I think if you're a season ticket holder, you can bring a friend or a family for free. So hopefully, hopefully there'll be a really big crowd. 
really good atmosphere and they're the type of games that, that our lads have worked so hard to play in. We're going into that crazy period very soon, wait up, we're 1st of December today, so we're already starting to look towards Christmas and it's all going to get kind of crazy and the fixture's going to get quite congested. I don't know, managers all over the country will say, well, we're not looking at the table, we're certainly not looking at the table uh, until Christmas. You must start to be thinking, though, assessing where you are. How would you assess the campaign so far as we sort of look towards the turn of the year? I think in terms of the league, I think we're we're probably around where we would have hoped to be. Um, like I said, we've had our aim first and foremost is to stay in the division. At the minute, at the minute, if uh, if we replicated our form, if we replicated our form that we've shown thus far over the course of the season, I think we'd be on track to do that. Um, I think if the season if the season finished and we if the season finished tomorrow and we finished where we are in the league at the minute we would be we'd be content with the season. Um, we think we've grown as a as a team and as a as a squad and as a staff since the start of the season, uh, and we would like to we would like to carry on that improvement and really kick on and see where we can get to and what we can achieve, but. Generally, I know it's cliched, but we genuinely don't look past the next match because uh, I think we found from experience that's how we operate best. Just put all our attention and focus on Charlton, go down there Friday, give our best account of ourselves, and then we'll uh, dust ourselves down and move on to the next game. Just finally for me, is it, um, is it weird, a bit funny playing and training in and around the World Cup? Uh, no, it's uh, something on the telly every night, so it's it's quite nice to go home and and have a game on. What do you make of England so far? I think they've been good. I, uh, obviously, the Iran and the Wales game, everybody has caught the attention of everybody. I thought um, they got a little bit of stick for the America game, but. Yeah, yeah, very difficult when they're playing the amount of games they are in the in the time frame they are to be at their absolute maximum every game and I think they've shown they've shown good aspects against America they had to grind out a result when they on other occasions they've played really good football and and have won convincingly so um, listen, I'm an England fan I'm unlike everyone else I get I get carried I get optimistic and get carried away so yeah, I let myself get excited about it.